watching Direct TV South by Southwest Live, right here on the 101 Network. We're going to go to Robin right now on 6th Street. And uh, Robin, what's happening down there? Uh, there's a lot happening right here on 6th Street, and I am so happy to be joined by Zach Hanson. Now, the last time I saw Zach, he was about 12 years old, and I was playing the tambourine, believe it or not, on Umbop, and I'm glad to say you have grown up quite nicely. You're a little bit, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to go for it. You're a little bit bratty back then, but you have turned out we've been talking for about 25 minutes. You, you're a lovely guy. I, I apologize. I think particularly back then, uh, when we first came out, I was about 12, and we had already been a band for five years, and so when people would, would talk to us like we were kids and things like that, I would get really frustrated and kind of bite back a little bit. So. I, I hope I'm not that way anymore. No, I've, been, I've had a great time chatting with you. Now, the first time you came to South by Southwest, 19, uh, 1994, that's a long time ago, but you weren't really actually playing here. Yeah, well, when we came the first time, we were just busking on the street. I mean, it was something, uh, we're guys from Tulsa, Oklahoma, so that's just a few hours up the road, and so we said, let's go down, let's let's sing, let's just busk on the street and see if we can meet some people. And we did end up meeting our first manager from that, and so I think it's a it's a really good thing for bands, particularly local bands, to come out, and the whole industry from all around the country is coming together for this event. I think it's a really good thing. Now, the next time you ended up playing was last year for DirecTV. Yeah, last year we did uh, something for DirecTV for you guys, and, um, you know, that's a, I mean, who doesn't want to play for DirecTV? But, uh, I think we felt like it was a good place to come back. It had been a lot of years since we played South by Southwest. And um, we were premiering that, that record, The Walk, which was our last record, for the first time, really. We felt like it was a good way to start to come down here, a place that has so much history for us, to come and premiere that record. You guys have your own label, which has afforded you the opportunity to work with incredible people like Gus Van Sant, who directed Milk and a lot of other movies. Who are some of the more important people you've had the opportunity to select to work with? Yeah, I think uh, one of the big reasons we, we formed our own label is really the ability to select the people you work with. The different labels you work with around the world, the different promotions people who are working your record at radio or TV or things like that. Um, but also, you know, I mean, we always want to have as much control with our with our art. And whenever you feel like a label's trying to tell you who to be, just say, you know, this isn't where I want to be anymore. So uh, our last record we did with Danny Korsmar, who's just an incredible... Played with James Taylor. Yeah, played with James Taylor. Uh, he's done stuff with Don Henley and Carol King and Billy Joel. And so um, he's just an icon. It's really great to work with him. And what's next for you all? Uh, what's next for us, we're just uh, getting ready to finish up another record that'll come out probably early next year at this point. But we have other things planned. We'll definitely be touring in the fall and probably have an EP out this fall also. They, they have been going crazy. I want you all to know the handsome fans are all around. Now, Matt is going to be talking to your brother in just a few minutes about tinted windows. We will have that coming up. But right now, you are watching The 101 live right here at South by Southwest. Thank you so much, Zach. You're watching Direct TV South by Southwest live right here on The 101 Network.